who are the, the main authors that you'd recommend if somebody's interested in critical realism from maybe the pure theoretical basis? Who, who are your, your key touchstones in that area? Um, there's, uh, well, one of the issues with critical realism is that uh, it, it's, it's, a, it's really a meta theoretical position and it's very difficult to find the one book or the one author um, that will tell you everything about critical realism. And most importantly, all of them sort of disagree on tiny elements. Um, and, and all of them focus on different points of critical realism as well. Um, I think there are, well, there are obvious um, authors and, and books that you have to read. Um, one of them is, is Andrew Sayer's um, book on, on the social reality from, I think it's 1992, but it was um, republished in 2000. Um, and what he, well, one of the important points of Sayers is, among many others, is, is, the, is the description of the ontology of critical realism, which he sees as it's stratified, emergent and generative. So what that implies is, well, it's stratified because there is uh, different layers of, um, of levels of understanding that you can have. So you can look at one, for example, a business, which is my area. You could look at it from the really a macroeconomic view where it's literally just the, the business itself. One business is just a point among many, a number among many. Uh, or you could look at all the way down to the micro sort of atomic level and look at all the uh, interactions between atoms uh, of, you know, that actually create the people who are then interacting with each other. And, and there's all these levels in between. Um, it's, it's emergent because in the sense that all these levels have different properties or imply different properties. So if you look at uh, a startup business, it, it has the possibility to raise funding or raise finance, which is not possible for one of the individuals or, or one of the things that, that, are, that are centrally constructing that, that startup. Um, and yeah, and the last point was um, generative. Um, which essentially implies that there's uh, the entities that build those systems generate uh, different sort of uh, properties, and so so the the essentially this um, this view by Sayer, uh, if you look at the emergent properties that he discusses, uh, you also have to look at Elder Vass. Uh, and Elder Vass discussed gener um, emergent properties and, and other elements that are really essential to critical realism. Um, you should also read Margaret Archer's uh, books on uh, where she focuses on, on reflexivity and morphogenesis, um, which are all aspects that are, again, kind of th that sort of build this position. Um, one of my favorite books, uh, however, is, is from, from Mingers in 2014, because it, it clarifies the link between um, systems thinking and critical realism, and it's extremely well structured. So not only is it built on many, many of these authors that um, provided a lot of uh, different concepts that build together this, this view, uh, but also it's recent. Uh, so it actually looks at the most recent uh, and important things. Now, the other problem with critical realism is that because it's such a sort of meta theoretical view, it doesn't actually tell us much about what we need to do as researchers. Um, and some have attempted to build upon the critical realist view um, to draw how we should do research. And one of the books that I would recommend for that is, is Dunermark 
and her colleagues from 20, uh, 2002. I think it's understanding society. Um, essentially, it's it's a very good book on how to do research, but it's it should be seen as a guideline rather than, well, it shouldn't be seen as a, this is how you have to do it. Because essentially critical realism implies um, methodological pragmatism, which means essentially that you have to decide on the methods you use according to the problem you're trying to solve. So all this together obviously creates a very complex position, but that makes it also as well interesting.